Alright guys, welcome back, and guess what, that's right, we are doing the hidden room tutorial now. Um, you guys have been waiting a long time for this, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if I'll get this done in one video or two, but uh, I'm going to have it done tonight, and it will be uploaded tomorrow. Um, it's taken me a while to do this because I wanted to make sure that I could explain it to you guys properly rather than just doing a block by block uh, tutorial alright guys uh, I'll meet you over there where we're gonna start with the tutorial alright guys uh, the first thing you guys wanna do is uh, you need to make sure this design is actually intended for uh, half slab flooring so I'm just going to start off by layering an area just with some uh, half slabs. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, and that was fail. Alright, um, so yeah, the first thing you want to do is just start with, start with your flooring, which will, ha has to be half slabs, unless you guys don't mind jumping up a step at the end, then you'll be fine. Uh, then once you do that, you just need to carve out a section that you you want to start with. Uh, as for me, uh, let's go ahead and break this down one more. Uh, it's a two by five, I believe is what I was using. Uh, these two uh, are for the steps, and then you need to go. Imagine it as being going down one step, going down another step and oops right there one more step so as long as you can walk underneath that section you're fine but I do believe that's as far as we want to go right there so one two three four five uh, yeah let's go ahead and do one more just uh, just because we can alright so once you guys got this section uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next section. I am going to be clearing out the underside of this so we have plenty of space to work with. Alright, now that we've cleared out the bottom area, um, this is more or less what we're going to be using. Um, chances are I'm going to have to probably take out a lot more. Um, but now that we're here, uh, the first thing we want to do... Uh, first, let me take a look at which side we're using. Uh, this is going to be the entrance side right here. Um, first thing we want to do is put sticky pistons uh, for the stairs. So let's uh, let's do this. Grab our sticky pistons. Place one set. Oops. One set right there. Yeah, this is going to have to be farther back than I thought. And another set right there. Then we need one more set right in front of the bottom ones. Okay. Uh, we can go ahead and put our steps on there right now. If you guys are probably doing a step-by-step -step tutorial right now where you guys are just following along, um, we may need to take those stairs out eventually to so make extras. Uh, all right. So, um, that is the first step uh, for the pistons. The next set of pistons need to be on this side. This does require quite a few pistons. So, let's, let's put them where they need to go. Right here. That's one set. Whoops, not there. Not there. Okay, this, just gonna line this up, make it easier on me. Oi! That's a lot of pistons. Do we really need that many? Yeah, probably do. All right, and nope, nope. Yeah, I'm doing awesome. And I messed that one up too. And 
let's get some more blocks. Doesn't matter what we're using at the moment. Lay this up. Just gonna destroy them anyways. See, that side works. That side didn't. Alright, and then the next is you need to put them facing up on the uh, the bottom pistons, bottom sections of pistons, section of pistons. Oh yeah, I had way too much coffee. Java, 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 java. All right, sticky pistons. I will not be giving an accurate amount of the amount of pistons you'll need. You'll just have to count them yourself. Don't be so lazy. All right. So, this is uh, the basic setup of the pistons, and this is all the pistons we will be needing. Yes, that is correct. Um, Alright, so next. Whoops. Not my intention to do that. Just wanted to take that notch out. And I am going to be needing to open this up a little bit more, so I will be right back. Uh, I will open some stuff up and probably take out some of these blocks. Alright guys, uh, now, um, for now just go ahead and leave those sticky pistons empty. Uh, just so that we can uh, set everything up beforehand and we don't have blocks being obstructed. Something goes wrong, something gets busted up. Um, the first thing we want to do is start powering our uh, pistons. So, uh, let's start in the back here. Uh, the first section we want powered is uh, this piston and this piston. And the way to get those two pistons powered are, is to power those two blocks right there. Just to show you guys. Like so. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Doing something like that, where you would need to power it, and then retract it. Uh, so, what we want to do here is uh, put some uh, repeaters. So, let's grab some repeaters. Put them right there. And repeaters need to have power going into them, so we'll need another block with some redstone. And voila! Now that's centralized. We're good there. Uh, now the next section, we'll deal with these pistons here in a second. Um, the next section we want to deal with is right here. So what we want to do is, uh, one way you could do it is this way. And that will power the two pistons, like so. But I don't like, ha if I don't have to, I don't like dealing with, uh, with it being higher than we need to. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put blocks for the top section. And then I'm going to put one block back for the lower section. And then we're going to put piston on this bottom row. Now what's happening here is this powers this bottom piston. And it also powers this block, which is adjacent to this piston up here. So you're powering both, essentially. And let's do this on both sides. And I'm going to keep the colors consistent. So, and I just did that wrong. Uh, so that everyone's clear as to what's going on this will be in the next download uh, I don't know if it'll be right in this when I file it because eh, I'm lazy um, but yeah okay so now that those are powered uh, we need to power oh, looks like the weather's gone bad I really gotta figure out a way to get that turned off oh actually you know what I think I did have a setting for that when I downloaded this mod animations no world time day only ah let's see if that works I tried it in my multiplayer and it seemed a bit buggy but we'll see okay now the next section is this bottom alright so we need to get uh, all of these pistons powered right here so what we could do is this and then put a piston on top uh, however that could create a problem because when these open up 
uh, then when you try to walk down the steps, uh, you have nothing to step onto. So, we're going to use that, and then uh, we're going to put blocks. You cannot use steps in any of these areas because uh, steps, if you put, uh, let's see if I can show you, if you try to put a step and then a torch below it, it will not transfer power to the top, but if you put a block that you would normally be able to put like redstone on, it'll power it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's layer this up. I actually have to take this down another notch. Man, I completely underestimated the amount of space I needed to use. I thought I was pretty good. Alright, so let's, uh, color I got orange over there. Let's use green. Actually, you know what? We don't need to use green here. Let's make this look good. Uh, let's use some wood. How did I only get one? Oh, there it is. And there we go. So basically when that opens up, uh, these two blocks theoretically will not be seen. So it's pretty much just these three. So these can be whatever. doesn't matter. Uh, so then let's put... Uh, now let's put our green blocks. Like so. And then pistons on there. I mean, pistons? What the hell am I thinking? <laughs> Redstone torches. Now we want to put repeaters on all of them. Like so. If there's another way to do this, uh, somebody please let me know. But this is the way that I've been doing it. Um, I've been trying to think of a cleaner way to uh, to make these powered. So I only have to use like one side of repeaters, but... And I can't quite figure it out. Oh well. And then we put our redstone torches on them. Whoops. Right there. Uh, okay, so now we have these pistons powered. Those pistons and those pistons. The next section would be uh, these two. Alright. Uh, actually, it's this one, technically. But we need one... We need one section right here for when it's getting pulled back. It needs to retract and then pull it back a second time. And then we need this one for when it gets pushed out to begin with. Just for the sake of organization, I'm going to change the color there. And in fact, I'm going to change those to two different colors so we don't get confused. Um, let's see. Oh, blue sounds good. Right there. We got blue. And we got... Let me see. Did I do it this way last time? I did not. That's where I was getting confused. Okay. So we are going to do it this way. Build that up. We got blue. We got not orange. Thought we had a yellow. There we go. And we got a yellow. Then all we do is power these. Uh, it really won't matter how we power these right now because they're not going to do anything since these are powered already see those uh, pistons the ones that are powered by these they're extended so these pistons will not push through them uh, but just for the sake of it we are going actually these repeaters need to go behind here this repeater needs to go here you actually build that one up. But basically we're going to power these so that they don't... I mean depower them so that they don't push when, we, when we're messing with it. And we put that one there. Grab our redstone. Redstone. Just put a torch on it for the time being. Torch. Uh, and as you guys are aware, when redstone is powered on a block that is touching the rear end <laughs> of a repeater, it will power. You guys have probably seen that in my T flip flop and other stuff. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to cut here and uh, just kind of organize my thoughts, make sure I'm clear as to what the next step is, and I'll be right back.